the rest of the story. It was long before General Douglas MacArthur, another old soldier, Sergeant Hayes, was fading away, penniless, forgotten, until somebody walked up on the street one day and said, say, aren't you the war hero? And indeed, Sergeant Hayes was the war hero. Long years previous, Hayes' deeds were on the lips of soldiers and civilians, but now, utter anonymity. So the word got out, the war hero was alive, was living in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, needed help. Shortly thereafter, the state legislature went into action. Sergeant Hayes must not only be honored once again for valor above and beyond the call of duty, but must be awarded a generous pension as a further token of the appreciation of a grateful nation. And Sergeant Hayes was, but this is the rest of the story. When John Hayes was a young man growing up in Carlisle, his ambition was to be a barber someday, leave the hero stuff to somebody else. And John did become a barber, but then, when it became apparent that life and freedom were on the line, John Hayes joined the American Continental Army, 1st Pennsylvania Artillery, and he went to war. He spent the winter of 1777 with General Washington at Frozen Valley Forge. He spent the following summer also under Washington, manning a cannon on a battlefield in Monmouth, New Jersey. And then one day, the noonday heat was 100, the cannon was throwing more heat, John Hayes fell ill, but he stayed at his post, loading and firing, until at last, overcome, he fell unconscious. Heat stroke. Our comrades carried John from the battlefield, and his cannon stood there silent, and the British were advancing. But then from somewhere behind the lines there emerged a woman, a woman named Mary. She scrambled to the big gun and swapped the barrel and grabbed a ramrod and loaded the ball and fired. And Mary kept loading and she kept firing throughout that battle, all of the while swearing vengeance on the British on behalf of artilleryman John Hayes, who was hers, Mary's husband. You see, Mary had followed John into battle to be near him and to serve her country as a cook and a seamstress and a water bearer. But the day after the battle in which she assumed her husband's post at the big gun, General Washington personally congratulated her and made her a sergeant. Mary Hayes became Sergeant Hayes, who would serve in the Continental Artillery for nearly eight years more, nearly eight years more, and who would be hailed as a war hero, but then forgotten, but then remembered by the Pennsylvania legislature because somebody encountered her on the street and happened to recognize Mary as the war hero and the legislature then came through with a commendation and a pension. Mary was the Sergeant Hayes that you met, and I have introduced her to you today only because in recent days and recent weeks you have heard much discuss the issue of American women in combat. I thought you'd like to meet the American woman who was first. Now you know the rest of the story.